Why Atoms Are Neutral by kscience.com Atoms always have a neutral charge. Any atom you come across will have a charge of zero. Let's take a look at a carbon atom to understand why this is. Carbon has a mass number of 12 and an atomic number of 6. Therefore, a carbon atom has 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 6 neutrons. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here is the structure of a carbon atom. Because there are 6 protons, this gives a charge of 6 plus. 6 electrons gives a charge of 6 minus. And 6 neutrons does not affect the charge, it has a charge of 0. Positive and negative charges cancel each other out. In this small table, we can see there are 6 protons, represented by the red circles, and 6 electrons, represented by the green circles. The six protons gives a charge of six plus, and the six electrons gives a charge of six minus. These protons and electrons cancel each other out, so the overall charge is zero. And this is the case in any atom. Let's look at oxygen to understand this in more detail. Oxygen has a mass number of 16 and an atomic number of eight. This means there are 8 protons, 8 electrons, and 8 neutrons. Therefore, its atomic structure will look something like this. 8 protons have a charge of 8 plus. 8 electrons have a charge of 8 minus. And 8 neutrons have a charge of 0. If we show this in a table, we can see there are 8 protons and 8 electrons. Therefore, the charge is zero, as eight protons gives a charge of eight plus, and eight electrons gives a charge of eight minus. Together, this equals a charge of zero. If there are unequal protons and electrons, you have a charged atom. More electrons than protons, and it's negatively charged. Less electrons than protons, and it's positively charged. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.